Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing meta units versus infinite, but we're going to be doing them with the best, newest, and buff traits, or nerfed, whatever you want to call them. They are just like rebalances of the traits, except for like Shinigami, in my opinion, it just seems like they nerfed it a little bit too much. But now this chair is just like only good with four placement units, so it's a good thing we have it on one of ours. Well, let's get straight into this. So what we're going to be using for this is obviously going to be Mash. He's a meta slow. He hits airs also, so he slows airs and ground units. It is better, I'm pretty sure it's a better slow than Yami's. I don't exactly remember the percentage. It's probably like a 50 percent slow though next we're going to bring is overlord utah the highest deep or the highest damaging unit in the entire game and next we're going to bring the highest dps unit in the game only because of the trait though a curse king and we finally maxed out his tree i got this earlier 60,000 kills almost af gang wow now we have a few extra slots for some other units we could bring gojo i think i'm gonna bring gojo actually i would rather bring this one but it's not too great right now i still have to upgrade him if he was max level i would have brought him if he didn't have a tree it still would have been fine because he does 70 range with no tree whatsoever 70 range which is absolutely outrageous okay so those are our top four units we could bring someone but i think i want to bring like someone like a starter unit so i think i will bring my minito for this max tree avatar minito he already has 43,000 kills he went damage build spa of course SP damage build. So let's go ahead and bring him and then we can just bring best waifu because apparently idol messes up with the tree so you don't want to bring her while doing runs anymore it looks like. They'll probably fix it this weekend when they do their mini update. Well, we have two avatars, two overlords, a shinigami and then a diamond. I really can't get an entrepreneur on him so I kind of gave up. We do have a few good characters we could still bring though. I'm kind of debating whether I should bring my avatar guts or my avatar minato. Minato has fear which will stun and do all the other stuff but yeah okay I'm gonna bring the guts. The guts is just going to do so much more than what he could possibly do. Even with the buff guts this is a full AoE meta unit. The full AoE, he's going to cook everything. It would be better if he had Avatar Albedo. We're not going to get that anytime soon. Let's go straight over to Infinite. Let's go for the Desert Village. Put it on Nightmare. And there we go. This should be a very solid team. All right, let's go ahead and throw on Game Sound. So, so thankfully, Guts is pretty cheap. I was going to bring Minato because he is really cheap. But Guts is only 800. I can get that by Wave 3. So we're still fine. All right, there we go. So now look, we're going to already place Guts. We'll put him right here. Pretty good placement. These ones are pretty slow. Sometimes you'll be like placing it right here because sometimes they're just like speedy up spawn i don't know if they changed it or it's just random but yeah my boy guts right here is doing 16.1k when i was showcasing the new traits i did not get the max out or bring any of my avatar units so i'm kind of curious on what they'll be doing and i did max out my avatar sakuna without seeing what his damage does to either so maybe he'll be doing a decent amount so avatar apparently even avatar's dps got increased even more even though they took out 0.5 dot damage and gave it like 100 percent damage it's still better like it'll be better dps wise even for a dot unit so my sakuna and my guts is, is going to get a slight buff the one thing is my my guts is going to have terrible range i look he should redo his stats and then just give him a range upgrade because he will not be able to hit all this i'm pretty sure they took off 10 percent range on avatar if i'm not mistaken and he already could not hit all this he was missing out on a big chunk right here so i definitely need to get that and i think that was an idol buff too if it was then i'm cooked but let's go ahead and max out our best waifu real quick actually i have to place airs whoops looks like we're dead All right, guys, we have maxed out our farm, as you can see, 38.4k per wave. All right, so we can go ahead. I want to place down my Sakuna first, because I want to see what his max out is. 8.82 on placement. All right, so let's go ahead and start upgrading him. I want to see what I can get him to. Damn, 508k, 51.7 range. Oh, yeah, his range is lowered, so... Even though it's not even that great on Sakuna already, it's going to be even worse. Ooh. Okay, so maybe we want to put Sakuna around like... And he has 50 range. We can put him like right here. He has a decent sized cone, so it should hit all of that. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. But 508k. I think mine was doing like 320. I don't know. Wait, that's pretty good. 508k, 51.7 range, 3.24 SPA. The SPA seems lower, actually. I don't... I thought it was like 3.7. But next, we're going to place down our Yuta. I'm mainly going to be using him for stun. So we can sell the Gojo now. But he's going to be used for stun. We can put him like right here. A oh, decent place. Man, I would say he only has like 24 range. Let me just get him to his upgrade. It's 22, actually. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, look, he's still doing a million damage every four seconds, even with this upgrade right here. This is Electrify, so he gets some stuns off right here. He's right there. I think my guts would have to go up a lot more. We're, we're gonna have to sell and replace him later. But you go, like, right here, I would say. Gojo would go still right here. Okay, cool. And the Mash. I think the range got nerfed on Mash. I can't remember, but it would probably go around here. Yeah, the placement's all messed up now. I can't really get a perfect placement for anything. But yeah, 22 range, 1.02 million damage. That's pretty good. He's not going to be doing it to air zone, unfortunately. Upgrade our gojo 44 range my boy's not getting that line i'm sorry to tell you that's because the oshi buff oshi buff was carrying all right 44 range we get into that okay it's not that bad i'm looking to turn off the sound though i'm probably going to be fast forwarding most of this video anyway so i doubt you guys will notice much
All right, let's go ahead and max out our Gojo. Now he's doing 1.73 million damage. He doesn't have too much range. Again, only two maxed out units are actually basically three. We only need Mash and Guts maxed out now. I'm going to go with Guts. I want to see what he gets up to. So 39, 40, 41, and then he goes down to 32, where I'm hoping he gets a few extra upgrades after this. 33, 34. Ooh, I'm telling you, his range is not good no more. It used to be over 50 with Oshi buff, but that was with the 15% range. I need to get that. I'm looking to reset stat. 786k is actually a lot. It went from 602 to 786. He got a, all my units got a big buff, actually. This would have been doing like 7, 800k. This would have been doing like 1.5. Yeah, everything got a massive buff, except for this right here. Shinigami is like the only trait that really got a nerf. Okay, it looks like Mash's max is 40.2 range, and he gets to this. Okay, that's not that bad his range is not that high though i'm pretty sure his best trait now is all seeing it's a bunch of crit it gives a bunch of range it just doesn't give spa so i don't know if he'd be too great i mean him maxed out 586k 40.2 range 5.12 seconds that's not that bad it really isn't and especially he's just mostly here for the support slowing down the airs but yeah that's that's gonna be like just about all we're gonna be upgrading for now we don't really need to place down slow so a little later Oh, there's a boss already passed. I didn't even realize. How much HP? He only has 100 mil. My Sukuna should be able to easily kill that. I don't think I need to use my flame arrow on him. We just need to put down another slow. We have a million dollars. Okay, so we should be able to easily sell and replace back then. We're going to put this one on closest, though. We're going to put one all the way up here. We're going to max it out so we can just slow whatever's up there. Yeah, cool. Okay, how much HP? Can't tell. 50 mil. All right, let's sell our Sukuna and place him down up here. All right, there we go. That's nice. There we go. All right, yeah, so we killed him. Nice. I just need to take care of these heirs. Okay, so where's this boss at? There should be a very strong boss at spawned somewhere. I right, just take care of these heirs first, actually. But there's on closest. So Guts is definitely dealing damage here. You see this? Oh, yeah. These things already have a lot of HP, though. We should probably sell Yuta and place him up now. And the boss is right here. Nice. All right, do that. Let's use this. I wonder how much damage he'll do now. So he currently has 363 million damage. I am. Look at that. Wow. Almost 7 billion damage right there. Barely did anything to the boss, though. Electrify is not electrifying. Okay, Gojo, bring him up here. Max him out. I keep forgetting about my unit's abilities. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hoping that's an infinite freeze. Okay, thank God it is. Okay, never mind. Maybe we're cooked. All right, we're gonna have to max out Yuta. I need a decent placement for him, though. Okay, there we go. Because he's gonna have to deal damage to these ears right here. Are we gonna die to them? It definitely looks like we are. If only Gojo was still a stun. There's, like, no good stun units anymore. The only good one is, like, Ami that hits airs, and I don't have that unit, unfortunately. But we killed one of the airs. That one has 200 million health. We could lucky kill this other one, too. No, we can't, actually. I thought this was my Sakuna arrow. Whoopsie. Yeah, we're dead. The only thing I could really do is bring back whatever hits airs. So you hit airs. You hit airs. You hit airs. All right, all these guys right here hit airs. These things have 60 million, while these ones back here have 150. Yeah, so either way, we're dead. Those ones just have too much HP. We can sell our guts, place them up here. Wait, are they both frozen? Oh my god, they are. Wait, Gus is gonna have to carry here. How much do they have? They have 200 million HP. All right, get them to that. Perfect. We'll have to sell and replace guts up here too. These guys don't need to be back here no more. I'll definitely take those. Those guys just don't want to stop. Nice. 30 seconds. Oh no, I'm cooked. No, Yuta. Please, let me click on him. Stun is not stunning. That's not good. 50 seconds. Wait, this one has 10. Oh my god. Please. Wait, it doesn't deal damage, does it? Oh yeah, I'm cooked. GG. I'm dead. I forgot it has an entire cutscene before it actually attacks. Please. No. I would have killed all of them too. This, this thing does like 150, 200 million damage now. No, bro. We could have made it so much further. So I made a video like this before they updated the traits. And I think I got to like 78 or something. I easily killed that other boss too. And I made it a lot further without them even freezing. Um, Yeah, we got cooked. I'm not going to lie. But that's going to be for this video though. I honestly think that the trait balances were a little bit. It's just because of the range. It's just because of the range. Like if I had range of my guts, I could have gotten a lot further on that. So I'm actually going to reset my tree on him. I'm going to go SPA, crit. SPA. So I should go range over this, but I'm definitely going SP on that. I'm gonna go crit, range, 
shatter and then there we go that's going to be the perfect build for him i hope the 12.5 percent range you just need i thought it was 15 but it's only 12.5 now i mean because it used to be this in this is what it originally was but this right here is better loki range and damage but you guys that's going to be for this video though thank you guys for watching to the end of the video we'll try to make another one for this 0.5 update when it comes out because it's going to be a few new units peace out